Hi everyone, welcome back to some more Final Fantasy 16. I'm back where we left off and I'm excited to continue, so please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, let's get back into it. So I have to go back to the hideaway and uh, yeah, let's get into it. Travel. The little owl. Chill. How is your brother? Asleep since I returned from the Dominion. Okay. Taya says he should be back on his feet soon enough. For a while, at least. Okay. She discovered something on his chest. A swelling circled in stone. The curse. For every mountain we climb, another arises up to greet us, doesn't it? Yeah. It's never ending. Even the sky seems to have grown tired of it all. Whoa. Yeah, it's like darker. Things fall apart. The power of light. Clive has claimed a portion of the icon Bahamut's essence. Attuning with Bahamut not only changes the elemental aspect of Clive's magic spells, but also allows access to several new iconic abilities, such as Impulse, which creates multiple spheres of light that pursue a target. Ooh, dealing it continuous damage. Oh, I like the sound of that. Use Bahamut's iconic feat, Wings of Light, to create... Uh, to begin casting Mega Flare, an immensely powerful spell that shows showers enemies with a deluge of searing light. The longer the spell is charged, the more powerful the results. Press circle to cast the spell when ready. Oh, cool. Hell yeah, that looks awesome. Joshua. While he rests, I might as well see what Otto has to say. And what do you have to say? It will take time to come to terms with everything that happened in the Dominion. But time is the one thing we always seem to lack. That's the human condition, isn't it? It's crazy. Quite the mess. Word out of Twinside is that there's little left of the capital after the Mad Prince's royal tantrum. But what of you and yours? Did you manage an escape before the city went tits up? I trust you did, but a Stolas might be good to send to set El's mind at ease. Theodore. Breaker Intelligence. Reports from our brothers and sisters afield are all the same. These accursed skies cast not only a pall over the land, but over the hearts of her people. Hearts already heavy from the fall of the Dominion and the destruction of Storm's final mother crystal. For now, the realm endures, but with each new flood do her few remaining children descend further into madness. The situation is as ever dire. Fresh wings shall find you on the new moon's turning. Until then, our watch continues. May the crystal's curse be broken. Damn, do they worry that they've done the wrong thing? I don't think they have, but the pen is mightier. Greetings from the Crimson Caravans. I trust you and your party gained the Dominion without further event. Should your travels ever bring you back to the markets and put you in need of additional assistance, you will find the Crimson Caravans more than happy to oblige. We might even offer a discount on our usual rates, Eloise. Ooh, about Blackthorn. Ch 
cheers for your help dragging Blackthorn out of the dumps the other day. Thing is, I reckon he's gone and thrown himself back in, judging by the droop of his jowls lately. So I'm thinking maybe it weren't just the leather that was on his mind. Maybe there's other demons jabbing their pitchforks into his privates. I know you're a busy bloke, but next time you find yourself free, maybe we could go and ask the old bastard what's going got him so hot and bothered, assuming it ain't just the forge. Hopefully it's nothing, but I should speak to Blackthorn just in case. Totally. Did you see the pair that got hauled into time? Blackthorn. You have a moment. Not really, no. <laughs> this won't take long. <laughs> He's like, come I just on. I to ask how you're getting on. August was worried about you. And you might still be doubting your craft. Even after learning the trick of that cuirass. <laughs> Is there something else weighing on your mind? Perhaps sharing your things might help. <laughs> that bastard's like a dog with a bone. Still, you've got a keen eye, I'll give him that. He's just, well, Karen showed me something. Something I've never seen before. And that was? A sword. An odd looking thing with a single edge blade. The metal itself wasn't anything to write home about, but fuck me. The edge on it. The edge on it. Slice a man clean in two with a weapon like that, and he'd be halfway home before he even realized he'd been cut. <gasps> so that's what's troubling you? Nah, no, no, no. Not troubling me exactly. More distracting. Can't stop thinking. How do you get an edge of that sharp? <laughs> it's driving me mad. Let's and figure out how. how. to do it, we could arm the curse breakers with even better blades. That's about the size of it, yeah. I'll see what I can find out. Sharper swords are always welcome. And we can't have our master blacksmith being distracted. Mm -mm. You're a soft touch, you know that. <laughs> I can't say I'm not grateful for it. We all are for Good you, luck, Blackthorn. Eh? Thank you. Let's see what Karen knows about this sword. Okay. And shot well on that. In her presence. You're looking well, Karen. <laughs> What's your bomb? <laughs> She's not accepting the what flattery. You know the sword you show Blackthorn. <laughs> Single-edged and extremely sharp. Running around after him again, are you? Yeah. I suppose I am, yes. <laughs> but I need to help him find out how to work an edge like that. It's driving him to distraction. We Little can't have that, can we? There's not many like that make it as far as the twins, and those that do go straight into private collections. Which made it nice and easy finding a buyer. Mm. Can you tell me who bought it? Where is it now? You think I tell people who my clients are? You'll tell me. Suppose you're not likely to go nicking him off me, are you now? Fine. If you stop mooning at me like that. Just Lord admit it. You care won. for me. Del Mechian bloke. Collects weapons and the like. Okay. And he's got more money than sense, which is why he's one of my favorite <laughs> clients. Reckon he'll still be at the inn in Dallamil where oh. I left him. Fabulous. Thank you, Karen. Oh. And he's... A touch eccentric, if you take my meaning. I appreciate the warning. <laughs> Clive, if you're gonna buy some, it'd be quick about it. Get some more. It is better over here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Lovely. Alright. So then, what else? Missions. Got new stuff there. 
Ah, uh, yes, the Balm King. Okay, I'll definitely do that. Alright, let's go find where the Balm King is again. And then beat his booty. Did you see that? Tell me you saw that. Okay, so where was it again? Bomb King. The Croc Sunbreak. The Croc Sunbreak. Oopsies, I keep doing that. This one. Uh, map. Oh, can't go anywhere yet. Alright, well, let's speak to Otto. Otto? How fares the realm? The realm? Oh, she's just fine. As long as you look past the fat storms at Mother Crystals and her skies are a roiling cesspit. And Gav. How's Gav? He's with your uncle in the free city. Yay. Helping Mid with her project. Yay. Setting an owl their way the moment the winds turn foul. Still waiting on a reply though. Okay. Do you have any good news? <laughs> well, that depends on your definition of good. All right, fine. All right, <laughs> fine. What do you suggest we do? Oh, no, I'm just the messenger. I leave the scheme into those more suited to the task. Could be that Lady Vivian and Old Tomes have their own thoughts on the current state of things. Yep. Could be that they don't. It certainly can't hurt to ask. I suppose not. All right. Still can't travel. All right, let's keep doing the main mission till we can travel, Vivian. How is it that every one of your little excursions presages some inexplicable catastrophe? Not that you are to blame for the Dominion's fate. No one could have predicted the actions of the Crown Prince. Yeah. I'm sorry, I don't blame save him. Your home. Well, is My that where she's from? Are stronger than you think. A few toppled clock towers won't break their spirits. Hmm. They'll be back on their feet in no time. I hope so. <laughs> Look at us. Bluer than a pair of bog crabs. <laughs> Tempting though it may be, sulking will not help us find a solution to this mess. You believe there's one to be found? I don't know. But I am certain we're more likely to find it if we first examine the facts. All right. Last crystal of storm. Damn. Beneath these darkened skies, fear and confusion reign over Valisthea. Oh, the lands around the fallen mother crystals had already begun to wilt for want of ether. But not like this. Crystals that filled wells and fueled furnaces. Now nothing but pretty shards of rock. And those that hang from the people's necks cast nary a glimmer of light to keep the dark at bay. It is only a matter of time before the common folk convince themselves that the end of days is upon us. Yeah. And yet I fear a swift end is more than we can hope for. While most of the world thirsts for ether, the remainder drowns in it, spawning Akashic in droves. And amidst the hordes of mindless beasts, with magics as like to fail as function, can the Akashic even live the without the nation would another crystals? Rosaria and the Iron Kingdom teeter on the brink of collapse, while the tragedy in Twinside has all but paralyzed the Holy Empire. Dalmechia fares little better. Rumor has it the ministers fled the capital after the fall of Drake's Fang, leaving their beloved republic to crumble yikes Lude, meanwhile moves in earnest the ein Heyar has been sighted off storm the world in short is in chaos yeah it would seem our civilization was nothing but a castle of sand to be washed away at the whim of the waves 
lips. I would have thought the blight would start to get better, though. A castle of sand. Not my best flourish, but it seemed fitting. The reports I've received are considerably more blunt in their appraisal. Without the protection of their nations, it will fall to the people to defend themselves against those who would take what is theirs. Which is only ever going to end one way. Defending a farmhouse against a band of chocobo thieves is one thing. But pitchforks and palisades will do little to stall an army's advance. Should the King of Wulu deign to invade, there would be none to stop him. Yikes. Mm. None but us. Damn. Okay, now speak with Hippocrates. About the skies. <laughs> Is there anything you don't know, Lawsman? <laughs> it doesn't take a court astrologer to argue the obvious. As for what has disturbed the heavens, that, I believe, is a question the fallen might be better placed to answer than I. And on the sixth day, did the gods tear the sun from the firmament, visiting darkness upon their prideful sons and daughters? But I dare say you remember your childhood mm. lessons on the sins of Zemeckis only too well. You think they're connected? That Ultima was one of the gods responsible? Well, Ooh. he has certainly exhibited powers that we mortals would associate with the divine. Yeah. There is nothing divine about him. <sighs> but he wouldn't be the first god of whom that could be said, now would he? That's true. Yet for all the fairy tales that tell of the sins, there is almost nothing in the way of actual historical accounts. Had I the journal of Moss the Chronicler, I may have been able to tell you more, but alas, I fear all remaining copies have been lost to time. You will forgive me, I hope? Certainly not. Because there is nothing to forgive. Hell yeah. Even without this journal, you've provided us ample wisdom. And we will always be grateful for it. Grandpappy Tomes. <laughs> Perhaps Otto will be more inclined to share his thoughts when he hears what the others had to say. Okay. I was wondering when next you'd visit. I have a few new notes that might interest you. Hee <laughs> hee so cute! The more you know... I have quite the find for you today. Lovely. Cool. What subject shall we consider today? Ultima, the otherworldly being behind much of the tragedy and turmoil that has plagued Velisthea. He means to claim Clive as his vessel, Mythos, by purging his will, a will strengthened by the ties of consciousness that binds that bind Clive with others. He unleashes primogenesis upon the world, shrouding it in darkness and turning thousands Akashic, that these ties of consciousness might be loosened. Did you learn everything you needed? Let's speak with Otto. Oh, but also, let's see. Hey, Bahamut channeled. Ah, <gasps> cool. Gotta pop his abilities on. Um, I just wanna see. Motion below. Cool. Seems the hideaway has lost its appetite. Twilight. I don't remember putting that song in. 
There we go. That's my song. Wonderful. Alright, speak to Otto. Jill's here. Clive, we have a problem. Oh. Only one. That would be a first. <laughs> it would. Actually, there are three. We had as many owls arrive while you were at the shelves. Martha's got a cashier at her gates and talk of monsters running Ooh. the hills outside of Northreach has put the wind up Isabel and her lot. And don't forget Dallinville. Lubor says the village was raided by bandits. Great. When it rains. Mm -hmm. It fucking pours. The curse breakers are spread thin, taking stock of the damage in the Dominion. Yikes. And even if I could get word to all of them, I doubt they'd get here in time to make any real difference. Which means there's only two people who can. Us. Jill and I. Yep. Let them know we're on our way. Hell yeah. Awesome. Okay, so then, oh my god, I keep doing that. Um, cool, okay. So then, where is the croc sandbrack? I don't know where the croc is. I guess I've got to go further that way. It's Mornbroom. Curious. Alright, let's try and go here. See if I can go down and see what's there. But let me double check that it is Croc. Yeah, the croc Sandbrack. Okay. Oh my god, I keep doing that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, let's go here and then travel down. And then we'll go to things like Martha's Rest and everything else to stop this nonsense from going on. Ready, go. Yeah. This way? Yes. It is so much darker. Still not the croc. I guess it ends. What is that? You deserve a rest. Ooh. Okay.
Oh! S rank! Svarog. Oh boy! Oh boy. Um, abilities. Let's set Bahamut's abilities. Oh yeah, while in combat. God dang it. It isn't to be trifled with. Oh, I went to jail. <laughs> <laughs> I can. All right. I just don't think I'm ready to fight that yet. I don't think I'm ready. I'm sorry. <laughs> First we find Isabel. Okay. Um, but now let's pop on Bahamut. Cool, I like that. Very cool. All right, lovely. And then here we can well, that's the circle, okay. Oh, damn. That's cool. All right, let's start by upgrading that. Okay. All right. Do you see anything you like? Okay, so. Heard a bloke saying he saw ghosts on the far side of the wall. I saw it with my own eyes. So it is through here. Hi. We received the dame's message. There have been sightings of strange creatures, I understand. With the blue eyes. Yes. Like a kashik, but different. They've taken so many. I've lost count. A kashik, but different. <sighs> Ultimus thralls. And what of your mistress? Is she here? Oh, no. She went to the garrison to ask what they were planning on doing about all this. Then we'll look for her there. Okay. Where's the garrison? We could leave this way. But where would we go? The two soldiers were carrying. I 
There she is. Madame, please! Half the garrison's been slaughtered by those things. We lost the captain this very morning. We've tried requesting reinforcements, but there's been no word from the capital or the Dominion in days! What more would you have us do? I would have you do your duty. Those at the Vale look to me for protection. And protect them I shall, because they are my charges and that is my duty. In case you have forgotten, the people of this town are your charges. But more than that, they are your people. Your sisters, your brothers, your lovers. So you have a choice. Lay down your sword and watch as they are slaughtered, or take it up and do what is right. She speaks the truth, you know. Dang. This here, it's all we have. It's all that's left. What we have left is our lives. Do you really want us to lose them as well? Not if we don't have to. Look, there's a cask under the captain's bunk. Let's talk about this over a drink, eh? Okay. I'm listening. I'll have a word with him. Oh, Clive. I didn't expect help to arrive so quickly. And sought to take matters into my own hands. It was a noble effort. But I thought you might still need some support. I'd like you to consider my needs. Um, <clears throat> what we need to Yeah, she, Jill's like, mm. is where the creatures came from. The way the survivors speak of them, one would think they appeared out of thin air. <laughs> and perhaps they did. Perhaps they did. It's hard to know what to believe these days. Hmm. We'll talk to the survivors. You're a pikeman, yes? What happened? I've got family in war. I heard the flood was spreading, so... I went to see if they were all right. And a pack of them glowing... Things found me in the meadow. I ran for my life. I, I never did get to the village. Damn. Leave that to us. My family. That thing. Did you see the creatures that attacked you? Creatures? Uh, yeah, I. They came out of nowhere. They went for Josie first, then me, and then... Then they were just gone. Do you remember where you were? On the road from Oriflam. We just passed Moor when... Yeah, so it's all around Moor. When... Where's my Joseph? It's all right. Just rest now. At least we have an idea of where the thralls might be now. All right, make we some more. For more. Whereabouts? There's more. Oh, okay. So we can leave from the, out this way. I assume you have a plan. It was all they could do to escape. Run like the wind. Lovely. Let's go. I see the ether. Oh boy. Okay, 
chest nearby. What have we got? Slay the enemy. Oh, hey! I see them. With me. Hey, I love that. Cool. Creepy. surrounding let's go down. Done. more but i'd say we've done what we can for the time being then we should let isabel know okay you have the town's thanks don't thank us yet. There will be more. Many more. And you'll need to be ready for them. Oh, we shall. Isn't that right, Captain? Yes, my lady. The garrison will be ready. Good. Philippe here has convinced most of the men to remain at their posts. For now, at least. <laughs> <laughs> Hearing that the dame would look kindly on any man who committed himself to the task certainly didn't hurt. <laughs> 
not the most selfless of motives, I'll admit. But whatever it takes, eh? <laughs> now me, I never needed convincing. I became a soldier to protect the people I love. And the people I love include the ones standing before me. <laughs> Handsome and chivalrous. <laughs> now, if you don't mind, I have sentries to post. Milady. Why do you look at me while saying Milady? <laughs> he looks at Clive. Milady. Lest you wonder, I'm not foolish enough to believe that this has solved all of my problems. But it has solved one. And that's one fewer than I had this morning. Thank you again, Clive. And Jill. I swear Jill's just standing there like... Hmm. <laughs> okay. I still... I don't know where to find the croc. Ooh, there's a way down there. Okay. All right, let's travel here. There seems to be another way that I've not yet explored. Come on. Faster. I think it's yeah. Down this way. All right. Oh, we've got some fallen. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. The Imperial Chase. The croc! Yes! We found the croc, everybody! Let's freaking go! <laughs> this way. Alrighty. We're gonna fight the Bomb King! <laughs> Here we go. Cool. Bomb King. Let's do this. I've been looking for you. Look what we have here. Greetings, Your Majesty. <laughs> Greetings, Your Majesty. So, you don't stagger, do you? Go, King. Right. Woo. Bomb, babe. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't want to lock onto you. Dang. There we go, Bomb King. Well 
Let's go. Coronation. Beautiful. God, it's chaos. Oh my gosh. Yes. Ability finished. Notorious Mark Sloan. We got him. Your reign is over. Oh, Not my gosh. The ash. This looks like the stuff. Good. Let's see if there's any more. Perfect. That should do it. If a wine needs more than this, he can fetch it himself. <laughs> All right, I'm going to head back to the hideaway because I need to buy some more stuff. And then I'll head to Martha's Rest and help out there. Cool. Did you see that? So I just want to look in here. Are the boys in here? Joshua and Dion? I can hardly lift my arms. The curses. Oh, look at them. They're so cute. Just slipping. Got him. All right, there, Sid. How's that hunt for the? I have it here. Yay! That's the stuff, and plenty of it too. Enough to keep the Olympic bubbling away for a good old while. You're a gent, Sid. Let nothing say otherwise. <laughs> right then, let's get this contraption up and running. All right, what kind of contraption? Is it? Some time later. Oh, yeah, yeah the distilling we thing. Have it. The Telemon Malembic. And it works just like the chief said it would. Yay. <gasps> Very impressive. <laughs> Since the man who cut down a burning boulder. <laughs> Speaking of which, I still haven't returned a favor. There's no need. The good it will do for the hideaway is reward enough. Don't be silly. Why don't you let me take a look at that bag of yours? The one you keep your potions in. Reckon I can work oh, some yes. magic on that. Yes, please. What kind of magic? <laughs> We happen to have isolated a substance in our test run of the Alembic that I reckon will make even the toughest lever supple as anything. Ooh, Blackthorn would like Thought that. I might use it to breathe new life into old boots and the like. Save the hideaway a few, Gil. Ah, I reckon if we slap a bit on your bag, it'll loosen it up enough for you to squeeze in a bottle or two more. That's what I want to hear. Well, it can't hurt to try, I suppose. Yes. That's the spirit. Leave it with me. I'll only be a mo. Good. Good man. 
Give him more potions. Well? What'd you rack up? It certainly feels more of... Right? Thank you. I think. No, no. Thank you for supporting Mid and the rest of us in our endeavors. <laughs> Without you, we'd never have been able to discover wonders like that stuff I rubbed on your bag. And I'm telling you, there's plenty more where that came from. You should talk with Blackthorn as well then. He would love to know. Okay. Leveled up! Yay! Beautiful, 35. Treated potion satchel. Cool. Inventory increased. By one or two? Two! Yay! Oh, hell yeah! Oh, come here, Karen. Let me buy some goddamn potions. <laughs> We're all gonna die! Hang on. I heard the Emperor was impaled. While I'm here, see what I can upgrade. So what do I owe the honor? What do you want? Ooh. Should last you a good while. Cool. Anything else? Cool, look at that sword. Hell yeah. Alright, Karen. Give me potions. Still alive, are ya? If you're gonna buy some, it'd be quick about it. Six. That's hey, what's up. Here, yeah. And four of these. Beautiful. You'll find a better price than that. You're rubbing me blind, you know. It is better I'll be here. Upon KO, automatically restores all limit gauge and increases attack. It's pretty cool, but I will never remember to use that. <laughs> all right, perfect. So now I'm beefed up and I'm ready to help out at Martha's Rest. Let's go. Fighting some Akashic. This man's gonna die if we don't get him to Oh damn. Martha. Martha. It's good to see you. I'm glad you're okay. And you, Clive. Jill? Otto said you'd been attacked by a Kashik. What exactly happened here? Those skies are what happened. Not long after they fell dark, we had our first visit. There were hundreds of them. Tried to storm the hill. Only a handful made it up here, but that was more than enough. Damn. The rest are still down there now. And while we have a few willing fighters holding them back, they're sorely outnumbered. What do you think, Clive? That we join the fight. Hell yeah. I thought you'd never offer. <laughs> now, where I need you is the Fallen Gate. Fallen Gate. That's where the fighting is fiercest. Okay. Let the men know you've come to help. Something tells me they'll be pleased to see you. We're on our way. It'll be a sight for sore eyes. The flames of war. Let's you get them. There were as many as Martha says. <laughs> More. More. You don't think they've abandoned us? Ambrosia, there you are. <laughs> yeah. Oopsies. <sighs> there we go. Alright, let's go.
Clive, wounded. Ooh. Damn. We deal with the Akashic first. <laughs> All right, everybody. Baby burn. Never seen that many rainbow words on the side. I feel special. Lovely. What a way to finish them up. These men don't have the look of hired swords. Yeah, they look like regular villagers. If you've come to rob this place. You are mistaken, my Lord Rosfield. We're here by Madame Martha's leave. How do you know my name? Yeah. Probably. Forgive me, my lord. There wasn't time for introductions. Oh, you're part of we those. Oh. the guardians of the flame. Oh, cool. Wade-men. But how did you come to be here? Yeah, and where where's is your commander? Wade. So Wade left earlier with a scouting party to find out where the Akashic were coming from. Oh, we got to help. He? Take your wounded back to the inn. Martha will see you're looked after. We'll join you in on. Let's go find Sir Wade. And to think you took them for thieves. <laughs> A fine reward for holding off the horde, that is. When did Wade and his men arrive? Yeah, why didn't you Not tell long me? Long after Rosalith fell. The guardians asked me to shelter some of them Aww. that had lost their homes. Aww. They were making ready to leave just as the skies turned, and we agreed it was best we stuck together. Mother! Trouble! The scouting party's almost at the lift, but they got a pack of Akashic snapping at their heels! Alright, that's what we're here for. With them. They're not gonna make it! Damn it all! We'll worry about them, Martha. You look after everyone here. Mm -hmm. If any can still fight, send them to the lift. I will. You two be safe now. All right. Moy. My brothers. My dogs. Yes, dear Kashuk. I need you to get those who can still walk up the lift to Martha's. But what about... I didn't ask, Oscar. Sir. Sir Wade. Lord Rossfield. If you aren't a sight for sore eyes... I'm glad. Martha seemed to think you might need some help. And by the looks of it... We thought we could sneak by them. But we didn't know there would be so many. How could we have? You. Ooh, well, that's kind of cute. I feel bad. Damn it. They're a cash. The Do you think we can hold them off? Of course we can, Jill. We can certainly try. Are you with us, Sir Wade? Always. Always. Oh. Then let's do our duty. Damn. 
Dog it down a little. Go. Beautiful stack of damage. Ah, nasty. Good. Let's go. Yes. Enemy slain. anyone hurt? I don't think so. And yet again, you've pulled me from the flames. It's just a pity I keep walking into them. <laughs> you've never been one to shy away from danger, Sir Wade. Like any shield worthy of the name. No. I see you're all in one piece. Martha! Is something wrong? The lookout saw smoke coming from down East Pool Way. Too thick to be a hearth. A second horde. Ooh. Feel like finishing the job. <laughs> Always. Jill and I will make for East Pool. You'll need to move the injured without us. Don't you worry about them. The moment my men are safe, I'll follow. Good luck. Thanks, Wade. Okay. Back up. Mad dogs. this way. Get all these 
boys. Nothing. Nothing much. The first round, so wait. <laughs> Let's go. Second. Let's go. Finish you off. Enough. Yeah. Lovely. Enemy slain. I think that was the last of them. But it won't be long before the next lot arrive. Then we make for Martha's while we can. What did you find out there? The same as Sir Wade. Scores of Akashic. Well, wherever they came from, they're gone now. Our lookouts say the lowlands are clear. Good. Hopefully we'll have enough time to lick our wounds. How many of your men were injured? A damn sight less than if you hadn't turned up. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It was a hard-fought victory. But as long as the skies remain dark, I fear the Akashic's numbers are only going to rise. Damn. It's not a matter of if the Horde will be back, but when. And whether that's sooner or later, we'll need to be ready. The inn here affords a good view of the land. And is easily defendable. I'd like to make this one of our outposts. Hell yeah. Go for what it. What do you say, Martha? You'd have more men to guard the rest. Well, when you put it like that, of course they can stay. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Lovely. Cool. Oh, Wade gave me a guardian scarf. That'll be in my chambers. That's so cute. My lord, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Oscar, over here. Hello. It is an honor to make your acquaintance, Lord Rossfield. I am Oscar. Oscar of House Murdoch. House Murdoch. Murdoch. <gasps> I wasn't aware the Lord Commander had children. What? Oh, he didn't. Ah. Uh, but his brother, my okay, father, did. Okay, so yeah, the I'm nephew. I'm also nephew. <laughs> well, go on then. It's not for me to ask him. Yes, so wait. You're the nephew of the Lord Commander. If it please you, my Lord Marquis, might you take me as your squire? I would learn the duties of a shield from the finest. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Oscar, but I am a shield no longer. Nor was I ever the finest. And spending time in the company of an outlaw hardly seems a fitting education for one uh, aspiring to take his oaths. My Aunt Hannah once told me that a man is not defined by his title, but what he does in its name. You have accomplished much since taking on the mantle of Sid, winning no little honor in so doing. And I would sooner serve under an honorable Ooh. outlaw than an unworthy sheep. N n not that so Wade and the other guardians are. <laughs> I mean to say that uh, the. It's all right. We know what you mean. <laughs> we get there it. is only so much the boy can learn from me, my lord. Aww. But a squire. Would that really be so bad? You were a squire once. And I'm certain Sir Rodney would approve. Definitely said it. Rodney would have approved. He would have been proud. Know that I'll show you as much leniency as your uncle showed me. <laughs> I would not have it any other way. Cool. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay. We buy more potions. Thank you. There you go. Much obliged. All right. Let us now head for the Dollar Mill Inn. Dang. Okay. Lubor. Sid. Your new companion appears much more formidable than your uncle. And Should more beautiful, be too. Uh, you haven't been introduced. Jill, Clive has told me much about you. All lies, I'm sure. <laughs> your Stolas said that Dalamil has a bandit problem. Indeed. Although, you're a little late. They left with our food and gill days ago. Same. Any idea where they went? The desert's a big place. Your guess is as good as mine. But the fact is, I have more immediate concerns. What did you say to me? What did you say? Ah, as if by magic. Let's just say we've yet to reach a consensus about how to solve Dalimil's little problem. And at this rate, it won't be the actions of the bandits which prove to be our undoing. It will be our own. Okay. I've tried reasoning with the dissenting parties, but even the desert hare has limits. Perhaps we could talk to them. What makes you think they'll listen to us? What makes you think they won't? Hmm? Okay. A fair point. <laughs> and you won't have wasted much of your precious time if you fail. They're just across the courtyard. All right. Suppose we just follow the shouting. <laughs> I suppose we do. Let's 
what's going on. You wouldn't talk like that if it had been your men whose throats were slit. Blood for blood, it's the only way. We hire mercenaries and have them mount the bandits' heads on our walls as a lesson to the rest. And what happens when those mercenaries are slaughtered like your men? Are you going to hire more? We're better off using that coin to buy food and supplies. If we hire mercenaries, the only thing we're buying is the bandit's ire. And you cannot fill empty bellies with that. Do you hear me? But what happens when they come back? Maybe it'll be your throat that's slit. Ooh. That's enough. Both of you. Any more of this and I'll throw you out myself. Come back when you're ready to talk like adults. I love that she was staring at him as she was walking away. Victor. What's he doing here? Sid. And Lady Jill. What brings you here? I was about to ask you the same thing. Costness is in chaos. And the markets have all but ceased to operate. Dang. The Briar's Kiss here in Dalamil is the only place I can reliably obtain supplies. I was here to do just that when Master Lubor told me of his troubles. He thought I might be able to talk some sense into these fools. But if you're here, I suppose his patience must be waning. Who are those people? Those were the thorns in Lubor's side. And the reason this place might be headed the same way as Costness. Dang. It's these accursed skies. The darkness is enough to drive a man to madness. Or an entire city, for that matter. We're still working on the skies. <laughs> but in the meantime, perhaps we can find a solution to Dalamil's problems. I hope so. For all our sakes. Right here. So, you see my predicament? What I saw was a room full of people who were angry and afraid. And with good reason by yeah. the sound of it. Understandably. But if that, that anger and fear could set the entire town alight. My thoughts exactly. Ugh, what to do? Both sides wish to protect their homes and livelihoods, if only they could agree on how. But as long as they are divided, we are vulnerable. And if there's one thing bandits like, it's an easy target. That's true. What would Sid the Outlaw suggest? Well, if it were my namesake... He'd let them choose for themselves and be on hand to pick up the pieces when it all went wrong. That sounds like Very a recipe noble. for disaster. <laughs> a recipe for disaster is precisely what it is. But perhaps that realization would be enough to make them question the ingredients. While it's plain neither Conrad nor Natalie will countenance the other's proposal, it may still be possible to make them doubt their own. Hmm. Okay. Before presenting them with a third option. And that would be? To pool our resources and save the city ourselves. Why fight each other? When all that fear and anger can be directed at the bandits. It appears we have a plan of action. It appears so. Victor, pay Conrad a visit. See if you can't convince him of his folly. I'll speak with Natalie. As you wish. And us? Hmm. Your faces are not well known in this town. That may prove useful. Don't worry. Victor and I will do most of the talking. You need only play along. Play along. What he means to say is yes. <laughs> Alrighty. Ok. 
okay i might leave this here and continue in the next one but please do make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i will continue this with you all next time bye